In April 2023 we had the opportunity to see the special episode to celebrate the 30th anniversary of the Power Rangers franchise, although it was really an episode dedicated to the Mighty Morphin. If you haven't seen this special episode yet, I should tell you that we're not going to give you spoilers because it's been a while. That being said, we can start by talking a little bit about what happened in that special so we can talk about what would be a second part of that episode. In Once and Always we got to see the return of all the Mighty Morphin, including those from the second and third seasons. Maybe we could not see all the original actors, but we could see the characters, and we have already made it clear in this channel that there is a big difference between the actor and the character. We were also able to witness the return of Rita Repulsa and we could almost see the return of Zordon. In this episode we were able to say goodbye to Trini in a very emotional way and at the same time we had the opportunity to welcome the new Yellow Ranger, which we could call the second generation because she is Trini's daughter. We had a growth in the characters as we saw more mature rangers with a very developed life. This made us feel identified since all the fans that watched this series, now are adults and have a developed life. Another thing we could see again was the Zords and the Megazord, which was created with CGI. If we talk about the story, then we can say that we saw the first step to start a new team of rangers and what could be a new generation of Mighty Morphin. We know that there are Power Rangers series that are created in the future and others in different dimensions, but in real life this is the first time that some actors of the franchise may be on the verge of retirement. Even Amy Jo Johnson herself said that it's possible that one of the reasons she may not have participated in the special episode was because she didn't want to wear spandex at 50 years old. We don't know if this might have been the last time we see these actors dressed as Power Rangers. We also don't know if they will be making any additional appearances, but what we are sure of is that they will soon be quite old to want to continue wearing a Power Rangers costume. We can't see this as a bad thing, but rather as a transition as time keeps ticking and we all keep getting older. This can even be a positive thing as it could be the perfect opportunity to start a second generation of Mighty Morphin. This could be the beginning of the second part of Once and Always as we now have the new Yellow Ranger. So, the question is, is this new Yellow Ranger going to just stand there and do nothing? Is the new Yellow Ranger not going to show up again? These are questions Hasbro should be asking themselves as they now have the opportunity to start a new series for a new demographic. I think Charlie Kirsch is an awesome actress who is very talented in martial arts and is the perfect person to play a Power Ranger. The special episode may have worked as a farewell to the original Mighty Morphin Rangers, but it also works as a warm welcome to a new generation. I think they should now start a sequel to Once and Always, but it should be in a different form. This was a special episode since it was the 30th anniversary celebration, but now since there is no celebration, then they can't make another special episode. This is why they should create a complete Mighty Morphin series and maybe make a continuation of what the special episode was. Obviously, they don't necessarily have to include the original Rangers, but maybe they can appear to transfer their powers to a new generation. Another function that they can have is that they can be the new mentors of this second generation. We could also have a storyline where Billy tries to bring Zordon back while the new rangers fight the battles with the villains. 
Basically, if they do the first season with 10 episodes you can have Billy as the main mentor and as the person who is in the command center dedicated to Zordon's return. They can also have Zack as a secondary mentor outside of the command center and maybe teach martial arts to the new rangers. Then in season 2 we could have the return of Zordon, this would be one of the most epic things that can happen in the franchise, and this could be what breathes life into that second season. This whole story is going to have some complications as now we don't have Jason David Frank and Tommy Oliver's character has two paths. The first path is for that character to be played by another actor and for the fans to be able to accept that, something that is going to be very complicated. The second path is that the character does not appear in this new series, which would also be very complicated since somehow the power of the dragon must be transferred to another new ranger. This is the same problem we could have with Jason and Kimberly's actors since if they are going to transfer power, then the actors must appear. The solution to this problem with Jason and Kimberly is that Rocky and Kat can transfer power since they now have dino power coins. The complicated thing is that they have already talked about it being dangerous to have two rangers with the same power. In the special episode this didn't matter that much as Kimberly and Jason were turned into little figures and their power was being drained by Rita. This was what perhaps helped so that nothing happened as there were two coins of the same power. Now with these rangers already transformed back into normal sized people, so we are uncertain if Rocky and Kat were able to keep the dino power coins. This is why we also don't know if they could transfer that power to another new ranger and possibly that transfer should be done by Jason and Kimberly. Obviously, this represents a problem since we know that it is very difficult for Amy to appear because she might not be able to come to an agreement with production and for now nobody knows the real reasons why this happened. In the case of Austin, it is different because it is likely that he would like to participate and we could see him in Beast Morphers, but unfortunately his legal problems do not allow him to leave the country and if the series is filmed outside the United States, then he will not be able to appear. If you would like a new Mighty Morphin series, please like this video and subscribe to be part of the second generation of Power Rangers.